Top Weather Center warns 2025 hurricane season will be disastrous. Forecasters are raising concerns about what very well could be one of the most intense Atlantic hurricane seasons in recent memory. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, projects that there may be up to 25 named storms in 2025, significantly above the average. Of these, as many as 13 could develop into hurricanes. Today, we will take a closer look at why experts believe the 2025 hurricane season could be catastrophic, how climate conditions are influencing these predictions, and what the public can expect if these forecasts prove to be accurate. A record-breaking forecast for 2025. The 2025 Atlantic hurricane season is already being called historic, and it hasn't even started. According to NOAA's May report, meteorologists predict 17 to 25 named storms. Between 8 and 13 of those could become hurricanes, with 4 to 7 reaching major hurricane status, category 3 or higher. These numbers far exceed the typical average of 14 named storms and 7 hurricanes. The reason behind this alarming forecast is a combination of warm Atlantic waters, reduced wind shear, and a fading El Nino. Experts warn that this set of conditions could lead to rapid intensification of storms, making them harder to predict and prepare for. Scientists have also highlighted how early season activity is already beginning to take shape. As of May, ocean temperatures in parts of the Atlantic are already higher than usual for this time of year. This could mean the season starts earlier, lasts longer, and produces stronger systems overall. If these projections are accurate, 2025 could rival or even surpass the activity seen during 2005, the year of Hurricane Katrina. Why forecasting will be harder? This year, one of the biggest concerns this season is not just the number of storms, but the ability of federal agencies to track them effectively. Budget cuts to NOAA and the National Weather Service, NWS, have put a strain on hurricane forecasting and emergency planning efforts. According to a May 2025 report by WUSF, staffing shortages and outdated equipment may reduce the lead time available for communities to prepare. Some forecasters are worried that fewer reconnaissance flights and limited satellite monitoring could make it harder to identify shifts in a storm's path or strength. The lack of funding also affects local coordination and real-time updates. Emergency managers in coastal states often rely on fast, accurate data to make decisions about evacuations, shelter planning, and supply staging. If that information is delayed or incomplete, it puts more lives and property at risk. This added uncertainty has made many meteorologists nervous heading into what could be an already dangerous hurricane season. The role of climate change in intensifying storms. Climate change is a growing factor in the increasing strength and frequency of Atlantic hurricanes. Warmer ocean waters, especially in the tropical Atlantic and Gulf of Mexico, act as fuel for storms. As sea surface temperatures rise, storms can grow more quickly and become more intense in less time. In recent years, scientists have observed more cases of rapid intensification where a storm jumps by two or more categories in just 24 hours. This makes planning and response efforts much harder for coastal communities. In 2025, those rising temperatures are expected to be even more impactful. The record-breaking warmth seen in the Atlantic during spring is not just an outlier, it's part of a growing trend. Higher global temperatures contribute to increased rainfall, stronger winds, and larger storm surges. These extreme weather events hit hardest in vulnerable areas, particularly along the Gulf Coast and southeastern U.S. shoreline. Experts believe that unless global emissions are curbed, each new season will bring a higher risk of severe damage. Florida and Gulf Coast states on high alert. States along the Gulf of Mexico and the southeastern seaboard are bracing for what could be a rough season. Florida, in particular, has been highlighted in multiple reports as being especially exposed in 2025. Not only does it have a long coastline, but its population continues to grow, putting more people and infrastructure in danger. 
With storm activity predicted to rise, the state's emergency officials are urging residents to update their evacuation plans and prepare supplies earlier than usual. Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia are also areas of concern. Many of these states are still recovering from past storms, and some coastal towns remain vulnerable due to aging infrastructure. If multiple hurricanes make landfall this year, as experts fear, response systems could be overwhelmed. Emergency agencies are preparing as best they can, but the combination of high storm counts and federal forecasting challenges has made this year feel more uncertain than ever. Communities at risk and the importance of local readiness. For communities along the Atlantic and Gulf coasts, early preparation will be more important than ever. In places like Miami, Tampa, New Orleans, and Charleston, low-lying areas are at constant risk of storm surge flooding. With sea levels gradually rising, even smaller hurricanes now pose bigger threats. Neighborhoods that used to experience occasional flooding are now dealing with it more often, and this season could push some of those systems to the limit. Local leaders have started holding emergency planning meetings earlier this year. Some counties are updating flood zone maps and running public safety campaigns. But not every area has the resources to respond quickly. Smaller towns without large emergency budgets may struggle to evacuate residents or provide shelter in time. Nonprofit groups and state-level agencies are trying to fill the gaps but they can only do so much. As storm threats grow, the difference between a town that's ready and one that's not could be life or death. Lingering effects from previous storms. Many areas in the southeastern U.S. are still recovering from damage caused by hurricanes in recent years. Communities in Louisiana are still repairing infrastructure after Hurricane Ida. Parts of Florida continue to rebuild after Ian and Idalia. These lingering repairs have left thousands of homes and businesses more exposed than before. If the 2025 season delivers another series of storms, the damage could compound quickly. Insurance issues are making things worse. Some companies have pulled out of high-risk areas and others have raised rates beyond what many homeowners can afford. This has left many people underinsured or without coverage altogether. As a result, they may not be able to rebuild if disaster strikes again. For these communities, the forecast for 2025 feels less like a warning and more like a reminder of what they've barely recovered from. What could make 2025 one of the worst seasons on record? There are several key factors that could make the 2025 hurricane season one for the record books. One significant concern is the possibility of multiple landfalls. Some seasons experience storms that remain at sea, but forecasters are warning that this year's atmospheric conditions may steer more hurricanes directly toward the U.S. coast. If that occurs, damage totals could escalate quickly, particularly in heavily populated states like Florida and Texas. Another major issue is the potential for back-to-back -back storms. When hurricanes impact the same area within days or weeks of each other, recovery becomes much more difficult. Power outages, water shortages, and emergency shelter requirements can put a strain on resources. With limited federal support and possible delays in forecasting, affected communities may not receive the assistance they need in a timely manner. If just two or three strong hurricanes strike the mainland, the 2025 season could approach the levels of devastation seen in 2004 and 2017, both infamous for their severe damage and repeated impacts. How the public can prepare in advance. With a busy season anticipated, the public is encouraged to prepare early. This includes reviewing evacuation zones, stocking up on emergency supplies, and checking insurance coverage. This is especially crucial for individuals living in mobile homes, flood-prone areas, or near the coast. In previous years, many waited until a storm was imminent before taking action. This year, officials caution that there might not be as much warning time. Local news outlets, emergency apps, and NOAA's Hurricane Center will continue to provide storm tracking updates, but with fewer resources and longer lead times, staying informed will require more effort.
experts recommend creating a written emergency plan, communicating with family members, and considering backup power or medical needs. While no one can prevent a storm, being prepared could make the difference between safety and disaster. The strain on emergency services and first responders. As the number of major storms increases, so does the pressure on emergency responders. Fire departments, paramedics, utility crews, and law enforcement agencies are already facing stretched budgets and staffing shortages in many areas. During a high-impact season like the one predicted for 2025, first responders may struggle to reach all communities in a timely manner. Flooded roads, downed power lines, and blocked routes can further slow response times. In Florida and other coastal states, officials are urging residents to take personal responsibility for their safety during the first 72 hours following any major event. Emergency shelters are being assessed for capacity and there are concerns regarding the speed at which aid can be delivered after a storm strikes. If multiple hurricanes make landfall in quick succession, supplies such as bottled water, tarps, fuel, and generators could again become scarce. The lessons from past disasters are evident. Those who delay their preparations may find themselves without help when they need it most. The economic cost of a hyperactive season. Beyond the human toll, a severe hurricane season brings major financial consequences. Damage from wind, flooding, and storm surge can total billions of dollars in just a few days. Insurance losses, federal aid, and rebuilding costs quickly add up. In a year like 2025, with forecasts showing a higher than average number of major hurricanes, the economic impact could rival some of the most expensive seasons in U.S. history. Tourism, agriculture, energy production, and real estate are all vulnerable sectors. Florida's economy, for example, depends heavily on seasonal visitors and coastal property. A direct hit on areas like Miami, Tampa, or Fort Lauderdale would bring long-term disruptions. Offshore drilling platforms and refineries along the Gulf Coast are also exposed. Storm damage could spike fuel prices and affect national supply chains. While recovery is always possible, a season like this could leave lasting effects on the economy well beyond the coastline. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you worried about the next hurricane season? Let us know in the comments section below.